Como estas motoristas. Uh, actually, this is just gonna be a raw vlog or a short announcement, maybe. I don't really have any plans of uh, sharing it to you guys. Because it's uh, something really personal. And since uh, it has something to do with motor, uh, we have decided na to, to share it anyway. Besides, it's gonna give you an idea and uh, maybe help you understand more about my circumstances. It's uh, actually good news and uh, not so good news at the same time. Anyway, so here's the thing. The good news. Commander-in-Chief and I are expecting another baby. So I know a lot of you are already saying congratulations or even commenting congratulations. Thank you guys. So we are really excited about it. Yun nga lang, there's uh, not really bad news but uh, not that good as well. Anyway, again, it's really personal stuff. Pero here it is. Si Commander-in-Chief, uh, medyo maselan siyang magbuntis. It's the same story with our first child. At some point, nagkakaroon siya ng spotting kapag medyo nasa-stress siya. So right now, ang advice ng doktor is uh, bed rest muna siya. Nasa bed lang siya. And uh, she only has one privilege of uh, standing up or bumabangon. Just once a day, as much as possible. Siguro once or twice a day. So just imagine yung needs niya. Uh, kailangan may ibigay. Merong mag assist tapos sa kanya. And because of that, she needs me more than ever. So as much as possible, uh, I'm there for her. You'll never know kung kailan mo kakailangan ng uh, emergency, right? A uh, good thing though is uh, meron tayong mga napapakiusapan that could be a substitute. Makakalinhinan tayo. Pero syempre, may limitations pa rin yun. Hindi naman pa pwedeng uh, the whole time pakiusapan namin yung tao to somehow bantayin siya. But don't worry, tuloy pa din ang motor. Okay, mag -alala. We'll still finish the 81 provinces. Meron lang konting uh, compromises. So kung dati, we are very flexible sa time ng mga kasama natin. Uh, lagi tayo nagbimeeting in terms of scheduling. So we always consider their schedule, kung yung availability nila, kailan kaya pa pwede na mas marami makasama. This time, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be just my schedule. Or kung sino lang ang pwede, that's what's gonna happen. Because of that, we are expecting na uh, mas kaunti ang mga kasama. I'm telling you this para hindi kayo magulat. Especially maraming mga ano dyan, mga curious. Hindi nga lang naka-attend yung isa, ang dami ng tanong. <laughs> I'm giving you basically guys a heads up of uh, what's going to happen. Secondly, sa vlogs. Because mas kailangan natin na... Uh, Matutukan si Mrs. Medyo mabibisi tayo for, for the next few months. Hopefully, after a first or second trimester, mag-improve na para mas uh, makagalaw tayo. I know na marami na sa inyo na <laughs> medyo naiinip sa mga uploads natin. Some of you know kung gaano kahirap ang mag-edit ng videos and to basically produce videos. As usual, I'm going to try my best to keep up. And that's why we have, uh, if you noticed, we have uh, announced now we are looking for a video editor so that uh, we can have help in terms of the uploads and uh, basically the editing. Yun yung pinakamahirap kasi na part dito. Hopefully may makuha tayo that would blend well dun sa, sa vlogs natin. I'm sure sa simula may mga adjustments dyan. Maninibago kayo kasi eh, medyo iba ng konting style. Pero as we go along, hopefully makuha niya yung dati nating uh, style. Since nandun na tayo sa topic na yun, we are actually behind one whole tour. Yung sa Sagada tour natin. Para sa mga nagtatanong, if you notice, marami tayong episodes, di ba? They are, of course, in sequence. So, syempre, we have to finish the sequence or the series bago tayo magsimula sa panibagong adventure. Kasi otherwise, magulo yun. So, what we do here sa Mutour, batch uh, filming. Uh, unlike others, ang ginagawa nila is pabiyahin isang araw, mag edit upload. Pabiyahin na naman siya ulit, edit, upload. So, yung sa atin naman, pabiyahin tayo ng isang matagalang biyahe, magsushoot tayo ng napakaraming videos, maraming content, uh, ipapile up natin yon, and then we eventually edit it, and then i-distribute natin yung episodes for the next few weeks or months. Ganun ang ginagawa natin, kaya medyo matagal talaga siya. Ang habol ko is, I want it to be as immersive as possible. Nililimit ko yung mga pinuputol natin na mga scenes, as much as possible, makuha mo yung pinaka-experience. Hindi siya parang summary lang nung nangyari. Majority of us uh, are busy. It's not easy to prioritize. As you all know, it's all about uh, prioritization. It's importante pa rin sa akin si Mutor. Pero kung umabot sa point na if I have to choose between scheduling an adventure or special checkup dito kay Mrs., syempre, I'm gonna choose the latter. Yun ang short na medyo humabang <laughs> announcement. So again, tuloy pa rin ang Mutor. We're gonna finish it. Okay? And now, since nandito na rin lang tayo, let's do a quick Ask Mo Tour. So, question and answer. More than a month ago, I posted this uh, photo. And uh, from there, you comment kung ano yung mga gusto mong itanong kay Mo Tour. 
I have narrowed them down to several questions. O, sagutin na natin. Right? Okay. First question from Erickson Olarte. Paano nyo po na maintain ang healthy, glowing, white skin nyo kahit na nagbamotor po kayo? <laughs> Recently, hindi naman ako talaga maarte sa, sa balat. Actually, wala nga akong ginagamit na kahit ano sa, sa mukha ko. Ganyan na yan talaga, no? Siguro, ang isa lang na ginagawa ko is, for example, magbibeach ka talaga or babad ka talaga sa araw, magdodrone ka. Lately, naglalagay na ako ng sunblock para makaiwas tayo ng sunburn and, uh, yun nga, masakit din talaga sa balat. Uh, we put on sunblock. Pero yun lang. So, wala tayong masyadong kaartian sa katawan. So, wala eh. Ganun lang talaga eh. <laughs> Next question. Here are my burning questions. Bakit laging may apparently pag may nakakaintrigang nangyari sa motor? Na Google mo naman, ibig sabihin ka pa eh. <laughs> so, paano tinanong mo, Sir JT, bakit ka nag-goodbye pag nagpapaalam ka? So, medyo ganun yung tanong. Number two. Ano po ba ang buhay off-cam sa motor? Uh, ordinary people lang naman kami. Mostly, ganun eh, day-to-day -day work. Tutok ng konti sa small business. Planning ng uh, rides. And of course, yung editing. Yung pinakamadumong part dyan. And once in a while, yung motor team, nagsaset kami ng mga get-together. Next, kay Arnold Verzosa. Boss JT, bakit puro maganda at buha po mga member ng motor? May pleasing personality pa dapat member. Hindi ko rin alam eh. <laughs> alam mo yun? Na tayo magkakawa dyan eh. Siguro nagkataon lang. It's not actually the physical appearance or the external appearance. Nandito kasi sa motor, hindi naman importante yan eh. It's a plus, syempre, parang uh, ikaw din matutuwa sa sarili mo. Pero wala naman sa itsura yan. Sa motor, pansin ko, even yung mga mahihain dati, uh, lumilitaw yung kakain ko yan pag nasa motor na. I think that's the magic of motor. Pag sumama ka, lalabas yung, yung fan side mo, magbe-blend ka na lang basta eh. Ang mas tinitingnan natin is the personality. And syempre, yung pakikisama. And kailangan discipline rider dahil. Next, Sir JT, after touring and completing the 81 provinces, what would you do next? Is there a possibility that you tour Southeast Asia in two wheels or on two wheels or other places excluding the Philippines? Yes, that's actually the dream. Hopefully, makahanap tayo ng uh, sponsor. Hindi natin masasabi. Southeast Asia, actually. So, Motor Pilipinas and then yung next daw is Motor Asia. Why not? Di ba? Di masama mga harap. Pero yes, there's a possibility and we would like that too. Kaya lang yun nga, it's, it's gonna be really, really way more expensive and time-consuming. Hindi ka naman pwede mag-3 days lang doon, di ba? Yes, merong possibility. And hopefully, mangyari yan in the future. Next, from Rui Somera. Sir, is there any chance that you will reconsider to extend the time frame you have to set to visit the Iroan provinces? So, extend ko ba siya? For me, it's not an option. Uh, I want to finish it dun sa sinabi kong time frame. 3 years is 3 years. Siguro ang mababago lang dyan is uh, the duration per province. Kung dati nakakapag-tour tayo ng matagal sa isang province, siguro one day or two days pa. Siguro this time, mag-set lang tayo ng most popular or uh, the best tourist spots na magandang motoren. One or two spots, and then uh, we'll move on to the next uh, province. Especially sa Mindanao area. Next, Edward Hunter. Paano mo sinusolusyonan yung pag-init ng puwet mo kapag nasa long ride ka? Especially if ayaw pa mag-stop over ng riding group mo. Pwede ka maglagay, for example, si Winnie the Pooh, naglagay siya ng parang gel type na seat. Nakakatulong yun para mas malambot or mas comfortable yung upuan mo. Pero yung pag-init ng puwet, ganun na yun eh. <laughs> Friction kasi siya, di ba? The only solution is, once in a while, tigil kayo. Kahit saglit na saglit lang. Kahit comfort break lang. CR ka lang, uminom ka lang, or whatever. Nasa sa'yo yun. Ako kasi medyo mataas ang tolerance ko doon. Kaya kong bumiyahin ng dire-derecho for, ano na, 100, 200, siguro 250 kilometers, dire-derecho lang yun, na hindi ko napapansin. Kung ayaw tumigil ng mga kagrupo mo, ng riding group, hayaan mo sila. <laughs> no, seriously. Kasi health yan eh. Lalo na kung naiihi ka and uh, titisin mo. Health ang maapektan mo dyan. If matino yung mga yung riding group mo, maintindihan nila yun. Next. Sir JD, what if nagkataon na walang available sa lahat ng motoristas? Tutuloy ka pa ba sa quest kahit mag-isa ka lang? Actually, nag-start naman talaga ako mag-isa lang ako, di ba? That's actually the original plan. On most parts, mas delikado siya siguro or mas mahirap kapag nagka-problema, nasiraan or what. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, yun talaga yung preference ko. Kasi mas hawak yung oras ko, mas marami ako na-accomplish. So if you notice sa uh, mga solo rides ko, nakakatatlo o apat tayo na feature na lugar. But of course, I don't mind having riders with me. I mean, syempre mas masaya pa rin yun. Mas maganda pa rin that you share the experience with others. Kung mag-isa lang ako, I don't mind. Uh, again, welcome pa rin ang mga asama natin na uh, fellow riders. To answer your question, yes, tuloy pa rin ako syempre. In fact, may possibility na mangyari yan in the near future. Dahil nga uh, sa availability, kung may mga chances na bumiyahe ako ng solo rides. Next, Dino Joseph Guevara. 
What is your first motorcycle? Interesting. The first ever motorcycle na naunang family, a Wave 100 Alpha. Matagal na yun. College nga yata ako. Or high school. Basta matagal na yun. The first ever motorcycle na aking talaga is the, the Wave 125. Yun yung blue. Na pinormahan ko pa yun. Ginawang mono shock and all. Anyway. Next. JB Marquez. Sir, nasaan na po si NMAX? Si NMAX ay nakay Winnie the Pooh na. E yung big bike niya, mahirap yung pang-araw-araw na pang-ikot niya sa mga pwesto niya, sa businessman kasi siya, marami siyang pwesto. Bukod sa mabigat kasi siya, syempre yung maintenance ng big bike, di ba, mas mataas yun. <laughs> so, kailangan niya ng pang-daily commute. Kaya, kinuha niya si NMAX. Next! From Jane Cruz. Paano pong matulog na maaga para makasama ng ride? Actually, gusto ko rin ito itanong. Bigo kami dito, as in bigo, especially me. Kapag may ride kinabukasan, Napakaliton siya sa makatulog pa ako Usually yan, wala akong tulog or 2 hours Siguro pag sineswerte Pero siguro nandun lang kasi yung excitement and anticipation Lalo na pag marami kang gagawin Mahihirap, mahihirap talaga matulog Actually, I can't answer your question Kasi ako mismo nagsastruggle doon <laughs> Next and last Magkano po nagkagasos mo per ride? Ito, isang malaking all caps din na depende <laughs> Wala siya nung parang generic lang na Magkano nagkagasos mo sa ride? Ah, ganito, 3,000 No, oh, wala Maraming factors kasi So number one is your motorcycle Ano ba ang konsumo mo? Nandiyan yung gasoline kasi no? Merong 25 km per liter lang Merong nag-50 So depende sa konsumo Ganun din yung magagasos mo sa gasoline So it ranges from depende Kung 500 to 1,000 Ibabase mo yun sa motor mo Secondly, accommodation Accommodation, nag naglalaro pa rin niya Malaki yan uh, Kung type mo fan room lang Okay ka na sa fan room Meron dyan as cheap as 300 or 400 pesos Meron naman dyan medyo high-end Uh, maabot yun ang mga 3,000, minsan 5,000 pa, depende. So, malaki yung range niya. Uh, mahirap sagutin ng isang sagot lang yon Nasa sa iyo yun kung anong prefer, prefer the accommodation mo. Pero ang average niya, naglalaro sa mga 1,000 to 1,500 per room. Kung mag, may cashier ka, mas makakamura ka syempre. Per row fares. Again, depende pa rin yan kung saan ka pupunta. Nagre-range yan from 700 pesos, o yung iba nagpa-500 plus pesos, hanggang up to 3,000 plus kung malayo talaga. Alamin mo muna yung ruta mo, doon mo malalaman kung magkano yung magagasas mo. Sa food, ganun ulit. Uh, pwede kang umorder ng tiga 80 pesos or 100 pesos na meal, meron ding tig 500 pesos na meal. So, depende pa rin sa iyo yon Kami, nagpa-budget kami as much as possible, medyo nag-sesperge kami sa food kasi nandun ka na eh. Matatry mo na yung delicacy. Gumasas ka na rin lang ng pamasahe mo, gumasas ka ng gasolina, accommodation, tapos titipirin mo yung food. Parang kalokohan. Ang sign opportunity, once in a lifetime maybe siguro yon or Lalo na kung may hirap mapuntahan. Doon kami nagsasperge ang konti. Average siguro namin ginagasas per meal. Nagre-range eh. Kung medyo mag-sharing kami, minsan nag-sharing kami 300 each or 250. Minsan pag talagang gusto namin marami yan. Lalo na yung mga putok-batok, nagpo-400, 500 pesos each kami doon. Depende nga. Okay? So in the meantime, yun muna. Kayo ba? Meron ba kayong burning question? Gustong-gusto nyo itanong kay Motor? Comment below. We'll select uh, several questions there para sa next episode natin ng Ask Motor. Okay? So by this time, baka nasa isang adventure na kami. Uh, I'll just see you guys next time. Peace out!